Okay, before I get started, I want to give credit where credit is due. I want to thank uh, Slants1 here on YouTube. Basically, I'm just uh, slowing down his tutorial a little bit. I'm not going to go into making the movie or making this spin. Uh, there was a comment from um, Marius SNS1 here. I understand because uh, Slants moves kind of fast here in his tutorial. Obviously, he's a real smart guy. I'm just going to slow this down and, and uh, kind of get into detail with the warp and the text. As far as making the movie, the animation, uh, I'll do that in a later tutorial. So here we go. I'm going to hit X uh, with Blender selected. I'm going to hit X to delete my default cube. I'm going to hit the space button, add mesh, UV sphere. I'm just going to click OK. Right now we're in top view. I want to go into view, front. I'm going to hit my space bar, add, text. Now down here uh, in this bar here where it says object mode, I'm going to select that and I'm going to go into, well, actually first. Okay, now what you want to do is hit your N button on your keyboard. That brings up your transform properties. We see here it says font, OB, which is stands for the object. That's what object we're, we're looking at here in our transform properties box. We see font. Uh, we see location XYZ, rotation XYZ. We'll go into the rotation X. X is this red axis right here going through the center click the numbers on the rotation X and hit 990 what that does is it tells us to make our text at a 90 degree angle now you can go into view and top view and now if you hit the G button if you make sure your text is still selected hit G and then the Y button for the Y axis and you can bring that text right to the front of that sphere. Now we'll go view, front view, and we see where our text is at. With my text selected, I'm going to hit the tab button. That takes me into edit mode. Look down here, you'll see it says edit mode, where my mouse is. If I go, I can select object mode. The only way to actually edit text directly is to be in edit mode. I'm going to backspace. I'm going to type in your logo goes here. I'm going to hit the tab button. And then I'm going to go down here into this uh, editing uh, tabs. As you should, it's the default. Uh, if you don't see that, you can look at my buttons here and you'll see this little square is edit. So we have link and materials, curve and surface, font and modifiers. We're going to go into curve and surface and hit center new and that has now centered our text. I want to bring it down a little bit so I'm going to hit G and then the letter Z and I'm going to bring it down on the Z axis just a little bit Then I can just hit enter. Now I want to I want to turn these this text into 3D. If you use your middle mouse button and spin it around you'll see that your text is flat. We can go into view top mode and we see that you can barely make out the text there because it's flat. We want to extrude it. Again, if you're in the uh, the editing buttons down here, the little square button, you'll see uh, curve and surface. Under the curve and surface tab, you'll see extrude. We're going to click the right arrow button once and we'll just go back to one. We'll leave it at one or point, point one zero. Okay, so now we have our text in 3D and we have our sphere. Now we want to, uh, there's something that we need to do with this text if we want to use the warp tool and that is converting it to a mesh. Right now it's text uh, the sphere in the center, that's mesh. The text is not mesh as it stands right now. Um, mesh is defined uh, basically if, if I right click my sphere and I tab into edit mode, you see all these little dots. Each one of those dots is controllable. Uh, you can select one individual dot and hit the G button 
and you can grab and move it. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to tab out of that. I'm going to go view, front view. Now I'm going to select my text. I'm going to tab into edit mode. And if you see when I tab into edit mode, there are no little dots. You cannot control this text with little dots. That's the difference uh, between it being a mesh and a text. In order to convert this text to a mesh, we hit Alt C and simply click Mesh. Now that it's in a mesh, if we tab back into edit mode, we'll see that now we have these little dots. And if I select a dot and hit G, you'll see that I can control each, ver it's called a vertus. Uh, I can control each one individually. I'm going to hit escape, zoom out. Now I'm going to hit my A button for select all. If, if, it's, if it's red or pink, then it's deselected. I'm going to hit A again and you'll see that it is now green, uh, yellow, which means it's selected. So if I hit A, I deselect. A, I select. Now I'm going to subdivide this. Uh, basically, if, if you look, you see all these points. I'm going to double all of these points by hitting the subdivide button. Now you see all the points have doubled. I'm going to hit um, I'm going to go view into top mode. The reason why we subdivide this is because um, each, each vertice, uh, when we are going to curve this, the more vertices we have, or the more dots we have, the better it's going to curve along our path. Now it's very important to, when you use the warp tool, you have to be in edit mode. If you're in object mode, this is this is not going to work. So you need to be in edit mode, and you need to have all the lights, all the dots need to be yellow. I'm going to put my mouse right cursor, my mouse cursor right in the center of the sphere. I'm going to hit Shift W, and now we see that it has warped. I'm going to go down on the screen and then go to my right until this is basically wraps all the way around I'm going to hit enter I'm going to hit tab so we can be in object mode and now you see we have put our text around this I hope this uh, worked for you uh, feel free to leave comments or questions if you have any you can also look at my other tutorials at www dot iwideopenmedia dot com slash blender. Thank you very much.